Hello, listeners. Welcome to your new addiction, your new favorite podcast series. Welcome to The Flow. You're here with me, the former blonde Soichi Bon, number one man on the PlayStation. I'll be guest starring with your boy, River The Flow God. What's good, Flow Gang? We have two, I repeat, two more special characters on the scene. We have someone who's a little more chaotic, 100% logic. It's your boy, Archiotix. Man, I'm glad Archie I got is that. the furthest thing from 100% logic. I honestly, hey, all I do is come in. See? You know what I mean? See? See what I'm saying? That's, that's not logic speaking. That's, that's not that's logic chaotic. speaking. That's chaotic. That's the mm. chaotic part. But anyways, my left, right hook, anger management crook, Mr. Undercooked. What's cracking, G? So, am I the only one here that watched the the newest episode of Jujutsu Kaisen? I would assume. Okay. Because I didn't watch I'll, it. I'll, I'll I know like, the other two aren't caught up, I don't think. So. Uh, okay. I, I, I'm not going to spoil anything. All, all I'm going to say is, it was kind of weird watching the episode knowing that this was done by slave labor. Like, it's crazy. Like, I know. Like, allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly. Not allegedly. Allegedly. Not allegedly. I, I feel like it's kind, of, it, it's kind of proven. Hold on, hold on. It hasn't for been proven, legal, really. Hold on, hold on, hold on. As, 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 as the Flow's PR team, guys, we're going to have to take this to an alleged, okay, angle. Because then if we start to accuse and give mm. false accusations, then we can be sued for defamination across all international waters. In which That's case, we will be losing more funds than we can ever imagine. So what therefore, can we're going to say allegedly. Allegedly. Oh, hmm. what can MAPA do to me? You know what I mean? Like, what can, I what mean, can they, they could probably actually do a lot. Uh, what, they, like what? What can they do? Like, sue the fuck <laughs> out of us. Ima- no, no, no. Imagine Archie just disappears. Like, oh, that'd be crazy. Hey, like, man, I would put it past. I ain't gonna lie. I, I would, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know, man. The way Mappa be treat, we'd be doing what they'd be doing, allegedly. You know, like, we just, I don't know. We just don't see this man again. That man. I can see that happening. That'd be uh, something but, else. To say the least. But uh, anyways, guys, if you don't know what we're talking about, um, a bunch of, well, not a bunch, but some of the Jujutsu Kaisen animators have been speaking out on the work conditions and what's been kind of been going on behind the scenes of them uh, uh, animating Jujutsu Kaisen specifically. But there are some rumors out there, allegedly, we have to say allegedly, I guess, um, that this has been going on for a while, not just on Jujutsu Kaisen. So, um, and if you guys don't know, earlier we found out that the animators uh, in MAPPA, when they were animating Jujutsu Kaisen, that they signed, hey, you can't complain about what's going that on behind the scenes. Man, hey, I don't, I don't know if it's called NDA in Japan, but that's basically what it is. But, um, apparently some of them are like, nah, it's worth, it's worth speaking out, even if I signed this and get sued you know what i mean like it, it's it's yeah, wild it's crazy that's crazy um, a lot of people who aren't familiar with an nda once you sign that you can't say anything because legally if you speak out on the contract that you sign to be all hush hush about you will lose nearly everything like you're you're really? pretty much signing your life away for from what i can grasp of the situation and of other situations that i know about so like it can get pretty pretty sketchy real quick which the only reason i would only see somebody signing an nda is if one they're working with top like top secret stuff two if it's about the content that they're making or the content they're distributing and they don't want people to leak knowledge you know all that other stuff but about work environments that's a little bit shady in itself. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. No, for um, sure. I think like when that information came out, everyone kind of took that as, oh, this is like almost confirmation to like what everyone had been thinking about Mappa this entire time, because right. this is not the the first time people have thought of Mappa as workers badly. We even see it with how many anime they're pumping out, which makes you beg the question, how the hell are the workers getting this done? And that's what everyone was saying. It's been coming out over time, more and more stuff. And this seems to almost be like the boiling point, to, to me at least. After after what I've seen from the tweets and stuff like that, there was like damn near a meltdown going on, on Twitter with damn near every, like the hella different tweets from hella different animators talking about, oh, it's cooked, it's over, it's done. And basically the JJK anime is getting postponed. It seems like, now it might not mm-hmm. for sure be postponed as of yet, but the idea is that it's just, people are not going to be able to keep this up. They, they, they would like to, to ask for that. And, and technically they can't just, do that i guess um because apparently mm-hmm. uh it has to go through so many different things to actually get done 
So it, it's not necessarily at fault of like, apparently from what I've heard, it's not necessarily at fault directly of MAPA being like, no, we're not doing this, but it has to go through a lot of other avenues to actually get put into place for them to postpone it and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's crazy, bro. And I, I, at this point, the animators might not even work like period, even if it doesn't get postponed. So it might just get postponed automatically. Yeah. It seems like. Might. It, so I think I think there's a rumor going on that some of them are even like refusing to continue yeah, because of how yeah, bad the conditions yeah. are. Um, let me give you guys a quick recap of the last 12 months of what MAPPA has put out. Pause. Okay. Okay. Um, I did not need to pause. I, so, I, I, I don't think know. it needed a pause. I don't think. Oh, it did oh okay, bad. Hey, hey, uh, whoever's editing this, you can cut that out. Um, anyways, uh, no, no, I no. Would, it, 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 okay, it. Man. It, 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 unnecessary. It, I'm gonna grill as the, the one as the person it, who probably says the pause, pause the most. Yeah. That didn't need pause. Um, keep it in. Yes. No pause. I guess that um, that one on the um, other hand. All right, that uh, one on the other hand, that requires a major pause, actually. That's a stop okay, and play. Right, let's, let's move it on, move it all on. Right. So for the past 12 months, they have animated Chainsaw Man, Vinland Saga Season 2, which was a different team, supposedly. Yeah, like right? the, wit, the WIT team. Um, uh, Campfire Cooking in Another World, they did an isekai. Oh, they did an isekai. Uh, they did uh, Attack on Titan, the final season, the final chapters, part one and two. Whoa. All right. So um, a, a very confusing title. It's a lot of words there for crazy, one show. Crazy, crazy wording. All right. Crazy. Uh, Hell's Paradise. Hmm. All right. I still need to finish that. And Jujutsu Kaisen season two. That Those are some crazy. That's a lot of numbers. Stuff. That's what is those, it? Those one, are some good numbers, bro. One, two, Not gonna three. Not going to lie. Four, five, six, seven. Seven, seven works. Yeah. By the way, on top of that, Mappa is also working on a film mm -hmm. that came out this year called Alice to the rest. Something about Alice. All right. They, they worked on a movie this year too. Alicization. But what what I think what makes that even crazier for y'all who may not like understand like why like because obviously it, it is a lot, right? But some people may be like, oh, that's well, if, they, if they're doing six anime over the course of a year, that's like one per season. Well, the, th the thing is that y'all got to understand, a lot of anime studios damn near might work on one anime per year almost sometimes. Like, it's, it's more common for it to be multiple now, but six or seven is crazy. Like, that that's very much unheard of. Like, that doesn't, like, happen. At least as far as I'm aware, I've never heard of that happening before. You know, so the amount of work that would have to be put in is insane. And, bro... This is going back back to the topic of the tweets because I just remembered some of the tweets because mm -hmm. I was I reacted to this on stream, bro. So some of the tweets that they were putting out, like all like one one person says something like, "All I have to say is scum," like they're scum, like that they're was a tweet, scum. like that is, bro. That I, I intense, said, "Damn, that's some powerful ass shit." Someone else was like, "It's over," like literally, like, just it's over. Like that's what the, that was the tweet. It's over. It's done. Like it's cooked, basically. Like that. That's what these tweets were saying. Some crazy tweets. And then someone else, I believe this was someone who isn't like directly related to MAPPA, but knows of, or was working at MAPPA, but has since left. There's so, so, something to that degree. Like a, it's a very hot, like highly important person in the anime world, though. Was basically like, put your key card in the trash on the way out. Like, don't come back to MAPPA because that shit's ass. Damn, for real? That's basically oh, that's what crazy. bro said. I was like, damn. Wow. This is some wild yeah, shit. He said that as in like he was mad at them for being mad or be like, no, he he meant he meant like throw your key cards away because like you should not come bad, back. So he didn't want them to yeah, come yeah, yeah. back. He's like, yeah, throw okay, your key cards wild. away. Don't go that's back. That's wild. Then don't go back. That's wild. Then yeah, literally, literally. That's so, wild. Then that's crazy. I I want to I want to also give you guys to um some perspective on how crazy Mappa is going into their anime creation. I pulled up some of the works from other animation studios that we may know what they worked on in the past twelve months. All right, I pulled up Bones. All right, Bone Studios, for in the last 12 months, they worked on My Hero Academia Season 6, Mob Psycho Season 3, Bungo Stray Dog Season 4, and 5. Four anime in the last 12 months. And remember, MAPPA worked on around seven works in the last 12 months. Right. You, you foldable. You foldable. I personally think is up there slightly above MAPPA in terms of quality for sure. of their animation. They only worked on Demon Slayer. In the last 12 months. Damn. Only that's all, that's still all we got? That's all you guys got. <laughs> Cloverworks. All right. They worked on Bochi the Rock, Unite Up, Horamiya the Missing Pieces, and Spy Family Season 2 in the last 12 months. 
Is is it Spy Family like a combination or, too? It's like it isn't just Cloverworks. Isn't it's it not like, even just Cloverworks. Yeah. It's 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 some other. They're working it with some other people too. So that's four, technically three and a half works. Yeah. All right. Production IG. All right. The old goats of producing great, you know, animated stuff. They only worked on Heavenly Delusion and FLCL this year too. So that, that FLCL one isn't even out yet, right? It's not even out yet. So really, it's just Heavenly Delusion. So it's like, Damn. for the past 12 months, MAPPA is just going... Not only are they going for quantity, they're still trying to keep up the quality almost up to you photobooks. And not, not to mention, like, I, I, this wasn't in the last 12 months at this point, but they literally had also just worked on Chainsaw Man in fall of last year. No, it, it's it's in the last 12 months. I was oh, saying. wait, we counted because Chainsaw Man? I'm counting Chainsaw Man because they, you say literally Chainsaw this Man? time. Yeah, I did. I did. Oh fuck! In the, I didn't in, hear that. in the last because okay, um this time last year they were still animating Chainsaw Man weekly. No, true, like, true. I, I didn't hear you say Chainsaw Man. That's my fault. No, and and Chainsaw Man like people criticize Chainsaw Man for like the CGI and stuff, but now we know why they did it because they're working like dogs down there. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like it's fucking crazy. Like I I, I don't know. Allegedly, but, hey, allegedly, I, I guess. Allegedly. But, but still, I I don't know. I, and I heard their team isn't even that big either, so I don't know how they're churning out like size doesn't six. matter. Archie, come on, you're right. My bad. It's the quality of how and, you use it. Yep. Right. They, they've they've literally had. I remember uh, there was another video that that Chibi did on. I remember watching. There there was like a, a like map a person who worked at Mappa that came out after they had left Mappa and, and literally mm. was basically just saying like how ass it was and like basically confirming like everything that we had said. It basically was like yeah he. I don't remember the exact things that were said, but if my memory suited me correctly, it was something along the lines of like he wouldn't recommend other people to like work in map, but da da da. Like he 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 was kind of like just giving his experiences, and it sounded ass. And it, it pretty much everything that people have been assuming, it, it was it was confirming a lot of that at least from what he said. So still still allegedly to that point, but from what he said, you know, it, it was kind of like yeah, it's cooked, you know, and and like literally. The, tur the turnaround times for these episodes, so some of these things, like at least from what I was seeing or what I was hearing, it sounded like that sometimes they would literally be like, yeah, no, nah, you got to get this episode done in like two days. Like you got to finish hella shit in like a hella short period of time. And then they would yeah. be told this like off rip, just like, oh, you got to do this shit. And what's crazy about that is if they do that and let's say you put 200% you put effort into that, right? You do all that work mm -hmm. in that short amount of time, you get the shit done because you were going in there like like just put yourself in those shoes like you do all that work in a short amount of time Jesus to get something it. done then what would happen at that point is they would see that and be like oh you can do that so then we're just gonna have you do that quality in that short amount of time over and over and over and over and over again because we've seen you can do it once so you can clearly replicate mm -hmm. that even though they just put mm -hmm. all their soul into that and they damn need to sleep for like three days but but now they gotta go ahead and do it the next day right back again and and i think that these type mm -hmm. of problems are what are plaguing the anime industry and it's not even just Mappa. Like, we see this because, for an example, Ichiman had just brought this up earlier with Zion 100. You see the message that OLM, or the ex-OLM employees were trying to send <clears throat> because they wanted to animate Zion 100 specifically so they could communicate the bad working conditions behind the anime industry. And we've heard many, many stories about this. This shit is ass, and there's serious problems. And they don't even get paid very much, which is the crazy thing. You know, it's, it's crazy to me because, like, OLM, they weren't even like the animation powerhouse. You know what I mean? And the fact mm -hmm. that MAPPA still thinks they could churn out as many anime as they can, even but up to the the type of quality like people want them to, it's like it's ridiculous to me. Like they didn't even used to be like this because I watched some of their older works. They were not an animation powerhouse back then. Well, I've seen date. Yeah, MAPPA. Yeah, I've yeah. seen days. I've seen Yuri on Ice. That shit was not like the um the animation powerhouse that it is now. So it's kind of interesting how they kind of just took upon themselves to be that. and But they think they could still churn it out. I don't know. Um, I think Ichiban had something. I did, yeah. So when River brought that up, that people were actually, that they wanted to animate ZOM 100 for that reason. And when you told me that, mm -hmm. I was like, wait, why didn't you tell me that sooner? Because I feel like if I had that information, I could have put like two and two together behind the entire scene of how animators are like, just workers more are so treated in that industry because all right so like you know my specialty is math but math i don't i don't just look at numbers i look at trends patterns so on and so forth so like i feel like if i had that missing piece i could have put it all together figured out something that we could have done a pot about it i was actually mad because like river fuck 
But yeah, bro, like it's crazy about how it started out that it actually turned out to be something that they wanted to express themselves as how their work environment went, how their work environment was. Like that's crazy to me. Like holy shit, everybody hates that one toxic boss worker guy for the one reason is he is how he is. Like bro, but yeah, that's my two cents and rant on the whole situation. Still blows my mind because uh- I. Definitely. I will I will say though like that that Zamo Hunter was a manga initially so that a lot of the stuff that I, I don't know how much was added to the anime but like a lot of that stuff was from the manga so I don't know how much of a correlation we can directly draw to some of the shit we can we can just kind of infer that like okay their working conditions were shitty and probably somewhat similar to this you know what I mean because I think that even Zamo 100 itself I would guess the mangaka probably had information on how the industry was or probably looked into it before yeah. making that there was probably a reason why he wanted to portray or he i don't know who wrote the Dude, movie. yeah so like like even watching that the beginning part like that i always did wonder like where the hell did this shit come from because when i was watching it and like they were portraying like giving us all these crazy angles showing the main character's feelings towards how he is at work how he's at home how he feels unfulfilled but and yet working so hard that shit seemed so real so very portrayed like perfectly that i was like questioning it was bothering me i was like where is this all coming from because there's no way that they're doing such a good job at explaining how it is to be trapped in a work you don't want to go to you don't Mm -hmm. like are are not making like shit at but are being like near like damn near abused at like how are they doing such a good job at portraying that and then it turned out that you know yeah that whole Alleg- allegedly allegedly, allegedly. The, the, the crazy yeah. thing is is the quality they have to do with that as well like they're, they're expect they're expected so much of it. i think that's part of like when i've heard like the japanese culture is kind of like oh well it's just very like working hard just do what you have to do do your job don't complain da 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 like get what you need to do done and like that leads to people just thinking that that's normal just like as i'm 100 both thought that was normal you feel me like this is just how it's supposed to be and just how my life is supposed to be it's documented that there's very high like depression rates and, and other things among you know um animators and stuff like that it's extremely high you know what i'm saying and it's it's like a, a problem like a serious problem like even like past that you know what i'm saying like uh, i don't know what the best word would be to use like un- unaliving yourself or whatever and stuff like that like that's very high in terms of um the uh industry of, of anime and stuff like that it's not it's not good whatsoever and like this hasn't even just come from oppa but i do hope that if this meltdown of sorts continues that maybe this could bring apart real, real change because workers have never really been like there's no they're very encouraged they're very discouraged to speak out very much so they're not supposed that that's not a thing that pe- people that they want to do i'm banking on the entire anime community to come together on this because we all love anime this has brought friends closer strangers close like perfect strangers very close out of nowhere like even going to the expo people were hyping each other up like i didn't see too many problems like dream everybody con? was mm-hmm. cool as, yeah uh yeah dream con like i i saw like an actual community mm-hmm. and like it was so cool to see so like see if, if we can just I, i'm banking on the anime community to like step forward on this and like really show their support behind like helping these people because i think there's there's way too many of us for it for us to not make a difference on this shit. like that's like you know how many people there are that watch anime yeah like yeah, a lot yeah there's got to be a lot too to be honest there has to be a lot because no way the netflix is starting to pump out these new animes mm-hmm. if there's not gonna if there're no traction on it there's no way bro, so, like they, so they getting speak- damn near paid below minimum wage bro like fucking insane bro yeah like, it's that's crazy, crazy. So, no. so speaking on uh netflix um i was looking at uh a little bit into mappa and be like okay who's really like in charge of everything you know what i mean i found out that the dude who is the founder of Mappa is also the founder of Studio M2, who just animated Pluto, which is on Netflix. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's so this dude, uh, Maso Maruyama, is the founder of three different animation studios Mappa, M2, and Madhouse. Mm-hmm. Kind of crazy. Um, so I don't know what the employee crossover is like for him and his studios. I if if the animators are like cross like working on stuff, that's even worse. 
in my opinion. This, and this is all like this is all not um this is all just allegedly obviously. I'm just kind of trying to connect the the mm. the pieces together. There's dots to be connected. Yeah. There's dots to be connected because Pluto looks insane for anyone that's seen Pluto on Netflix. It, it it looked like it took a lot of work to make Pluto. Mm. I don't the know stories behind it. Crazy. Oh, it's we're crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Shout out to um, Saw with a goat. <laughs> Um, shout out, yeah, shout out to goat. North number two, bro. Shout out to North number two. My dog. Mm-hmm. Anyways, uh, and and with Madhouse, what they worked on this year, they worked on a few stuff. Uh, I, I watched some of them. My love story with Yamada, level nine nine nine. Um, uh, the gene of AI. I don't know what that is. Um, but they also work. They're working on Free Ren right now. Um, okay. so I I don't know. How many employees are really cross-referencing like this dude's companies? But if they are, they are literally being worked like dogs. <laughs> like I'm not gonna lie, all these anime take so much to, work. Yeah. Like literally, these no are way. all like high. Qual- these are all high quality as fuck. It it, it just it, it really begs the question: How it's even possible to have some of this shit done? Because I, I think that sometimes we we maybe take i guess like our time for granted in a way but like the way the way that their lives would I, have I, to work but like the, the way that I, like allegedly we think that these workers would have to be worked if they were working on these amount of anime right mm-hmm. they literally their every waking moment would be spent on the anime and then not to mention they probably most nights do not sleep there is probably they probably go days without sleeping and that's i, I you can you can only infer that based on the amount of work they would have to do to get this shit done there's just no way and there's just no way that stuff like this is sustainable which is why when i was watching chibi's video yesterday he, i know he mentioned something like it almost seems like mop mm-hmm. is just rinsing putting taking the animator each animator mm-hmm. putting them through the grinder mm-hmm. and rinsing and repeating mm-hmm. over and over they'll just once one's gone they use them up they get another one and gone gone and that that's how they're that's it seems like how they're working it's- they're almost getting through the entire anime industry of animators damn near just pumping them in, getting them out, da da da, and just work. And that that is allegedly what's going, at least with, from what he was saying and assume, and inferring that that's kind of what's happening, which is fucking crazy. Is there a turnover rate like hella high? Like was that if, ever if, that, if that's true? I I do know there is a turnover rate. That's I, I don't know how high it is though. I I don't even know if okay. that that's like released to the public or not. Like at, at this point, right. I, I'm not 100 percent sure, but I, I it does seem that way from what we know. Dang, you know. So so map is like. Do you remember when you remember the I remember when it was like simpler times when like the memes are out of like man I bet but those map employees don't see their families now it's yeah. looking like it's looking like it's, uh, it's almost confirmed that that's pretty much yeah, true I, it, like the me the memes are reality at this point you it's know fuck. about that like and and it's holy shit changes dang. your perspective on that you know how it's, many it's jokes insane, I bro. Did, bro. like like bro like it, it, there's gonna there at, at this rate there's going to come a point in time. Where either the people have worked for Mappa or they don't want to work for Mappa, like they've already worked and been gone, or no, and no one else wants mm-hmm. to work for them. There, there's gonna be that, like if this at this rate, the way things keep going, if they are literally for, that animators are feeling forced to speak out after the culture in Japan doesn't want you to speak out, and on top of that, sign a fucking NDA and they are still speaking out. You know how bad it has to be to do that? No, you. it's got to be bad if you sign an NDA and you're still freaking like, nah, bro. And, and, and already people, the animators who don't sign NDAs don't speak out either. So it's a it's right. fucking a double whammy, bro. Like, it's crazy. No, for real. I, I imagine if... Hey, but you know what's crazy? I don't hear people uh, complaining about animating a... Uh, campfire cooking another world you know i'm just saying that that's the one anime where no one's complaining about you know what i mean i don't know what it is it's something about those <laughs> it's something about those battles shown in that they're like yeah i'm tired of animating this shit all the I mean, fucking I motion guess, right. the range and shit you know what i mean hey but um, uh i know uh so dylan you were actually the one who introduced us to this topic what did, did you have like any initial thoughts like when you first seen it because i know i know you instantly sent it to me like yo we got to talk about this shit do you oh. want my serious answer or do you want my very funny answer? So can you give us both? Can you give us both? <clears throat> yes. But... I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm so nervous. You should I'm be, nervous. bro. You should really be nervous, bro. This is probably going to go into Patreon. Oh, I hope the PR is <laughs> ready for this. All I say, all I'm going to say, guys, all I'm going to say is slave labor number one. Yep. Fuck them. Keep working. I want my anime, give it to me. I'm not gonna lie, you're not the first person to say that. There's a lot of people that are like, fuck that, hey, give me my Ooh. anime, bro. I'm hey, not gonna uh, lie, that's not, uh, PR that's not team, a PR team, we, we need you. We need, we need you. 
I don't know what. What did I say? I don't, what did I say? Um, what did I say? This is the... Uh, what did I say? This, this, we'll call it, we'll, right now, I'm flashing the bat signal for the PR team. In all seriousness. Honestly, Dylan, there are people that think the way you do, for sure. No, like, like there, there is. Shit. There is. No, <laughs> in, like, all, bro, in all seriousness. In all seriousness. Like, it is, it is genuinely fucked because, like... For most people, like I would see animation as like a, as their passion. That's why you go into doing it because you're passionate towards animating and doing shit like that. And they like that has turned into like something that is just so fucking terrible for them. And that is so sad. That's like it's just so like I remember like the 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 small feeling of like having oh fuck where was it going having something that I like doing but it just got it got crushed somehow by some experience. And so I just never did it again. And like, I don't, that's just so sad to see people in that issue right now. That's why that's kind of, that's, that just sucks. I hope that these motherfuckers will fucking pay because the position that they are putting people in is fucking. Ladies and gentlemen, we here at The Flow do not support or condone any kind of behavior that regards in slavery or and or such as anything related to we would just like to apologize to anybody we may have offended in the process of us making a joke. And we would just like to just say that, um, yeah, we're pretty much, we're, we're sorry. Hey, we hey, let man. you down. And, oh, and, and, <laughs> there is no professional way to, you're asking Batman to fight Superman right now. I'm fighting you. <laughs> you're asking, you're asking, you're, you say you put up the bat signal. Yeah, sure. What does it matter? We're fighting one punch i'm fighting, fighting thanos right <laughs> i'm fighting i'm fighting thanos when i'm butt naked and it's negative 70 degrees out i'm i'm fighting the hulk when i'm literally just a little kid on a tricycle who else am i fighting i'm fighting iron man when i'm broke what am i gonna do <laughs> hey, hey, I'm broke. Hey, 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 man, <laughs> you, know, you know what at the end of the day hey that's just life just like the slice of life, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I think it's a fucked up situation, like either way of what happens, because um, say like nothing happens at the end of the day and Mappa keeps going, man, that sucks for those animators for like I feel so bad. Uh, on or like say Mappa like ends up they need a free up space. I have a feeling like now that I know that the founder is the also the founder of like these other studios, maybe they're gonna allocate those anime to like these other studios. And like now they're fucking them over, you know what I mean? Like like with Madhouse and M two, and shit. Ooh, it's like, no, that would you know suck. I mean? Wow, that would right. So it's like it's kind of fucked regardless, you know. I'm like, I don't know how this is gonna work out. I mean, the the the, the only way that the issue is really gonna get solved is, um, because people banding together against this, like, because as Americans, I feel like what can we really do to change shit that's going on in Japan? Realistically, like. Unless, really? unless their pockets hurt, which realistically people that's are not going to stop watching JJK. They're just exactly. not. Exactly. No, people are They're not, not. going to stop watching. That's, right? so, that's why that... it's tough, I'm right? Sorry, because I feel like j the people in Japan are not going to be as passionate about this as we are because they feel like, oh, this is just life. They, they just see it as, oh, this is just their work, right? Mm -hmm. This is what they signed up. Like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know for sure, but based on what I've heard from their culture, I'm only inferring that that it probably they probably won't be quite as passionate. Again, something may change. They may they may go at it, but it's gonna take something on all fronts, or the workers just being like, "Nah, fuck this," in a large enough scale to actually make some change. You know what I'm saying? So Dang. I don't know. It's gonna be tough, bro. Man. Um. Anyways, uh, speaking of life, um, yeah, what 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 constitutes as a slice of life anime to you guys? Because this, this think is of such the a nasty transition. <laughs> <laughs> like, like we went from the most Man, serious I'm, thing I'm ever to the most trolly thing ever, bro. I'm trying to, I'm, tr I'm trying to find the transition, and I know you were. Right? We're, we're just, we're um, just but, we need to make some kind of joke but, or something. We need to lighten the mood somehow. Um, <laughs> no, because because honestly, think about the word "slice of life." It's literally just a slice of your. Anything could be a slice of life if you really think about it. You know, hey, the, the slice of my life. No, no, no. The animators making the beginning of Zom 100 was a slice mm. of life. Literally, their actual life being poured into into that. Hey, the but the my life, the slice of my life is like a wedding cake because I'm married oh, to the grind. Shut the fuck up. Fuck <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Dylan, you. you know what? You know what? You had to invited this guy. You had to write it. Yeah. Who is that? That wasn't even intentional. I'm trying to fix my camera, Crying but also shit. fuck River. 
No, it, it, worked it, right worked, it worked out. It worked out. It worked out. Cause I'm married to the grind. You feel me? Cause, cause, what is it? What can Blue Lock count as a slice of life? It's a slice of their lives. I mean, I wish it was my life. Shit. True. You know what I mean? Too, like, too fucking bad. Too fucking bad. I know, D dude. Uh. Freaking. Uh, what is it? It one piece is technically one piece of their life. Shit. You know what I mean? I mean, like, shit. That they just that live their daily lives. Stay on the seas, bro. Key? No, for real, like, like a slice of life. People usually think like, like a, a a high school setting, and like people not really doing much. It's either like a romance or like just like them like in high school doing their thing. But I think slice of life could be just other things. You know what I mean? That's a fact. Because because like th then why have the why have the genre slice of life if you don't like you know like should it even be a genre type shit? You know what I mean? Like it. I feel like that's just that's just anime bro just because point. someone's life is like saving the world every day doesn't mean it's not their life it's still their life exactly exactly yo jujitsu kaisen bro the freaking um what is it that's literally just their lives just it's just their normal shit. day lives dragon ball z you know? dragon it's ball z life. bro attack on titan it's their motherfucking life that shit might be bro. ass but it's their life bro hey man if you're part of the 80 percent in Attack on Titan, that, that's your life, bro. I don't know what to tell you. That's right, Dylan. That's yep. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, PR team, PR team, PR team, PR team, PR team, PR team. <laughs> yeah. Page and PR team. I agree with everything Archie said. Page and PR team. <laughs> Please go. help. There we go. Please yes, help. Sir. Archie only speaks the truth on Please all. Help. Please. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, the PR team is unavailable at this moment because Fuck! they were they were working on something else aside uh, instead of paying attention. So they caught me with my pants down and I'm bent over and we're just going to get dicked. Like, it's you dropped over, the soap? So. I bet. bet. Dude, I, I'm unfortunate. I guess so. Dude, there's action in One Piece. There's an unrealistic amount of money going into the Japanese soccer national team that they just don't do, I don't think, unless they do that secretly. I mean, they, they, they do be having some training camps over there and stuff like that. Yeah, but unless you see that firsthand, there's not going to be any, like, I've seen buzz on about video. it. From <laughs> where? Are you on YouTube? Where? where did, oh, so, so everything... Like they they be, like, training, people. like, skills and shit, like, and shit. I've seen it. Okay. So 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 you guys agree that technical. slice of you guys agree that slice of life is like too broad, right? Type shit where it's like Bro. there's not really like the thing that. But let me let me matter it's gotta fact, be matter of fact. No, it's got to be realistic. You can't think different universes and call it slice of life because then you might as well take that one episode of of Rick and Morty when he talks about interdimensional cable. You're not going into other dimensions. That's their slice of life. That's not our slice of life, right? We're not gonna wake up and eat a devil fruit and get magical powers right we can't do that first of all there's no such thing as a devil <clears throat> fruit i mean th we do have pirates we do have pirates true but, true um but they're not you know they got ak's they don't have they fucking they don't, fucking gum gum fruit. <laughs> they don't yeah <laughs> Fucking yo, uh, I can cut off a, on my arm and it's not like fully cut off. It just floats in the air and touch. Floats in the air, like you know. Yo, that's a but, normal slice of life, right? That's not. not at all. Okay, here we go. Slice okay, of life is a genre explored in film, television, literary work centering around normal people and real drama that arises in everyday life. But yeah, our everyday life. But our, our everyday life. Okay. But who's to say? That this shit couldn't happen in our lives. How the fuck do we know? How do we know? We don't know. Bro, I saw I saw a song today. It said, How do we know Attack on Titan didn't happen and our life and our memories just weren't wiped and the cycle continued? How do we know? You can say that about everything then. What are you talking yeah, about? So life, so life, oh life is anything then. It's you know real eyes. Real eyes. Oh my God. Die. 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 No, it's not credible. You can't say that. Because then, right. then you can just be called a conspiracy theorist. That people look at you weird. No. Call me a conspiracy real. theorist. So um, now that we're winding down here in this pod, we're going to play a little game called Is It Slice of Life? All right. For this game, I will be naming three anime. All right. 
And yeah. out of the three anime that I name, you guys will have to guess which one is not Slice of Life. Okay, okay, right? okay, okay, okay. All right, and all, all of and, and all of you could have different answers. All right, uh, if anything, I'll keep up to see like who's who's. Um, yeah, yeah, get a point this system. one, editors. Oh, get a point tally. Yeah. Points tally. You should do a, a three strike thing, and then whoever gets whoever gets it wrong three times is out. So we will start with these first three anime. All right, you guys, put your thinking caps on. All right, yeah, really think about it. Oh, and by the way, um, how I came up with this is um, and don't don't cheat. All right, don't cheat because um, I went off of what any list deems is a slice of life. Kind all right. Shit. So if you guys, it, so so if you guys have a problem with the uh, with like the answers, bro, hey, blame any list, bro. I don't know what to tell you. It's not it's not my list. These three anime. All right. Remember, you're guessing which one's not the slice of life. Not. I'm locked in, twin. Mob Psycho 100. Okay. Great Teacher Onizuka. Oh. Hi Q. Oh shit! Which one's which one's not the slice of life? Oh Hi-Q. shit! Okay, so Dylan, you're you're locking in Haiku. Oh, okay. that might be cool. okay. Uh, great teacher, whatever you said that. Great, great like teacher Onizuka's not the slice of life. Uh, I'm I'm locking yeah. in. Oh, okay. I'm I'm locking in Haiku as well. You're well. locking in Haiku as well. Haiku. Okay, I, I did some thinking with my thinking. All right, on. all right. Everyone did their final answers. All right, the answer is Haiku. <laughs> oh, one. Yes. All right, double baby. Don't w, baby. Right. Yes, Mob Psycho 100 has the slice of life tag, and so As does Gracie and Onizuka, but Haikyuu doesn't. It's mm-hmm. just it's just sports action comedy, apparently. There's a crazy variety of like what shows is actually slice of life, which is wild. All right, <laughs> hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold is... on. Oh, oh you want to put your thinking cap back on? All right, this this guy is he sticking with the bit? All right, the next three anime. All right, which one's not the slice of life? Your Lion April. Your name, Fruits Basket. Your Lion April. Lion your April, name. your name, Fruits Basket. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say Fruits Basket. All right, lock that in. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go. I have a sneaking suspicion. Your Lion April. Your Lion April. All right, lock that in. Dylan. Your name. All right, oh, everyone, everyone, picked, a everyone picked a different answer. And the, okay. a- and the right answer is your name. Bro, I'm oh, going, bro. I'm really I good. I'm really second good. Second. Wait, which one oh. did I say? Uh, you I said, said your line, April. April. Uh, no, he said, no, 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 said fruit basket. No, 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 you did say fruit basket. My bad. You did yeah, say fruit basket. I said your name, bro. That's me, baby. Yeah. That's me, baby. Oh, all right. I sh- bro, that right, was so, my first answer, so, bro. I should have went my gut. Right. I'm so too good. good. So Dylan's in the lead. I know my slides right now. He's in the lead right now. All right. So next one, I went with the oldies. All right. This is some some 90s slash early 2000s anime I'm going with. Slam Dunk. Sailor Moon. Ooh. Love Hina. Which one Damn. is not the slice of life? Slam dunk. All right. This is a Ichiban's tricky one. going with slam dunk. Because I feel like the obvious answer would be slam dunk. But like... Yeah, because if they treated Haikyuu like that, why wouldn't they treat slam dunk like that? Wait, can we Sailor like... Sailor Moon. Can we like What's look up, up like what Sailor the, Moon. Like a picture of the anime? No. Sailor Moon is not... Oh. Sailor Moon is not a uh, slice of life. Wait, what, what, is lo- what is no, Love no, Hina? No. What is Love Hina? It's 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 a it's a romance anime, like a basic one. Like I know Sailor Moon. It's is... it's, a, it's a really old romance anime, so I I guess you could call it basic as fuck. Mm. If I get this one, I'm out. Fuck. Mm. Okay, so so we got we got Ichiban with Slam Dunk, and we got Dylan with Sailor Moon. Yep. All right. I think, I think, I think, I think. You might as well just go to the one we didn't pick. I'm going, I'm going to Sailor Moon. Okay, so the answer is Sailor Moon. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Come on. All right, well, I'm out. We locked in, Swinsky. You Uh, answered Sailor Moon, didn't you? Follow my lead, River. That's all you had to do. All you had to do was follow my lead. You knew it. answer Slam Dunk. (laughs) Oh, you I said said, said Slam Dunk. All right, yes. Slam Dunk, surprisingly, has the Slice of Life tag. Oh, okay. So you didn't work right. Okay. So then, um, so then, just not give Haikyuu whatever. I, hey, I, I blame Anly, blame Anilis, bro. I don't know. Um. Anyways, this next one is some newer anime that you guys are very familiar with. Time for the All new right. Bunny Girl Senpai. Ooh. Kaguya Sama. Kagi. Mm. Horamiya. Unlocking. Which one lie. is not the slice of life? 
I'm gonna lie. I'm fun. I'm fun to lock. Yeah, but what uh, was the first one again? What was the first one again? I'm gonna lock uh, Bunny, Bunny Girl Senpai. Give me Bunny Girl for five thousand. All right. So River's gonna lock in Bunny Girl Senpai. All right. Still waiting on Ichiban and Dylan. Oh, I thought it was out. No, no you, I think you it was still keep playing. Point. You can still yeah, keep yeah, playing. Oh, playing. Same, same again. Uh, Bunny Girl Senpai, Kaguya Sama, and Horamiya. Bunny Girl Senpai, Kaguya Sama. I'm gonna say. Mm, mm, I know Bunny Girl Senpai. I don't know the other two. Hori yeah, Mia? The, you said Hori Mia, right? Hori Mia and Kaguya Sama. I'm going Kaguya Sama. Hori Mia is like a basic romance, and Kaguya Sama is like, Kaguya death, Sama. like a death note romance. I'm going Kaguya Sama. Yeah, but then Bunny Girl Senpai talks about like. I'm going Kaguya Sama. Yeah. All right. I'm going to say Bunny Girl Senpai. Gang. They're in a high school setting, but they do talk about like. Well, they're shit. all in high school settings. They're all in high school settings. So they're, they're oh, all high school. So they both went. Ka they will both went. Buddy girl, I went Kaguya. Yes, say Bunny girl. All right, final answers, right, guys? That's yeah, it. Yeah. So I'm sure okay. Can, can stop. So <laughs> the correct answer is Bunny Girl Senpai. Come on, they got me on that. Yeah. I mean, I was yes, like, bro, sir. What the fuck just happened to my camera, bro? Now we tie, baby. Me and Dylan tied. Oh, yeah, it's good now. It's good now. Tied skis. Okay, we so, tied skis. So yes. So Dylan and River are tied at three yeah. apiece, and Ichiban got his first point. All right. You know why? Because I'm Ichiban. I've always got one. Mm, type shit. All right. So this is basically for all the marbles, you know? And this yeah. could still end in a tie. You, we'll see. I, I got you, bro. So last one. Interesting. Another newie. All right. Okay. Guys, okay. Some newie. Hit me with it. Come on. Licorice Recoil. Ooh. Spy Family. Okay. Rent Ooh. a Girlfriend. Mm. Which one is not the slice of life? Okay, so I'm pretty sure. A spy family. Yeah, oh. licorice recoil. Spy a... family. Rent a girlfriend. I'm gonna say spy family. Spy family. Interesting. That is interesting. I, <laughs> I kind of want to break this down, but I want to give Dylan any hints. So, I won't. I will frame. Damn, he said, "Fuck you, Dylan. You gonna take that shit? He called you a bitch." Damn, that's crazy. I wouldn't take it. River I'm has just... to lower himself to the level of hurling insults at me because he knows that he's in trouble. I didn't hurdle any trouble. insults at Dylan. Mm. <laughs> I'm just sitting here thinking he's the only one doing that. So really says, says something, oh God. You, know? Yeah. you know? Really well, says I something. Didn't, I didn't um, hurdle insults at you. If I did, I would have made sure you heard it. All right, guys. Oh, well, I mean, well, I I'll give you, yo, I'm giving you guys 30 more seconds. All right, right, let me keep let me keep brainstorming here real quick. Repeat them, repeat them for me again. Okay, so we got licorice recoil, spy family, rent a girlfriend. Fuck recoil. Uh, I'm going recoil, baby. I'm going, going recoil. recoil. Interesting. I I'm gonna go with rent a girlfriend. Mm. I'm going with rent a girlfriend. Mm. Okay, River, I know you're wrong on that. That's what I'm gonna say. If this, if you're right on this, River, I will. Do something outrageous tonight. Damn. I don't know what that means. I don't know what it means either, we'll but it would mean something bad. Well, this I'm is correct. crazy because the right answer is rent a girlfriend. <laughs> I'm, 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 I don't, right. know what, I don't right. understand why it's not a slice of life. That, that is, is so dumb. dumb. That is so I, dumb, it's, bro. It's crazy. That's so dumb, bro. No, they said so they dumb. didn't it believe. Is. That's so it's dumb. Bro. They said what's there's a god no to a non-believer. No, there's they said no what's way. a god to a non-believer. Well, you better believe. I don't You're know. A what. Cocksucker, apparently, you apparently, are a cocksucker, bro. Uh, uh, apparently, apparently, jacking off is not a part of slice That's of life. Wild. I don't know what it is. That is wild, bro. That is wild. That decision, bro. What it is? You know what it is? Hey, hey, this is. This is just a sign that don't don't believe um any list, bro, because that was crazy. That's any list is wild for that. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, River, you can suck my big peen peen. Anyways, um, anyways, uh, Ichiban, uh, go ahead and uh, go ahead and take us out, Ichiban. Oh, let's yeah, get I think you know, that's a good conclusion. That's a good conclusion. Good job, River. Yeah. Good game. Good game, hey, man. Good game, hey, bro. Thank you. Good game hey, to y'all. Hey, hey, was it was W game? W, w game. game, I like that. W, w I, dude, game. I actually, I felt the stakes there. Not gonna lie, I felt the stakes at the end there. Wait, That's what I was thinking so long. I was truly sitting there like, man, I, I don't want to lose this, but man, you know what? 
I fumbled the bag tonight. It'll be all right. Ichiban yeah, takes yeah. it away. Do, do you guys wait? Do you guys know what's a better game now? Oh my god! You guys know what's a better game? Hold on. Hold on. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I had to turn. I had to turn the light off because this is so like secretive. I can't. I can't really like. Let people see the light on this one. You know, so I have to put my hood on. It doesn't matter. It's, if you it's, turn it's, the it's light like off. a secret deal. It's like a secret deal. <laughs> Shut up. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a secret deal. You know, River, you know nothing about drug deals. It's a secret deal. So basically, I don't even know if I should be telling you all this, but for the for the small price of one dollar, and for even you know three, five, and ten dollars, it's a small price, extremely, extremely pennies. You can you can become part of the Flow Patreon. So basically, if you join the Patreon, you gain access to so much. The podcast come out early. We got reactions. We got more stuff. So much that. blackmail like material. There's so much stuff you could blackmail with there. But it's you not could say that. I figured it out, River. What? All right. Well, 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 we'll, 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 we'll Okay. Let's let's get out of here first. Let's get out of here. First. Okay. Bo right. Bo right. Bo 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 sign up first thing in the description. Join the Patreon. You know what I'm talking about. I figured it out. I got the. I figured it out. And All shout right. out to. Our our pictures, man. Phantom, Mori, Leaf, right. T, oh, yeah. Archie, uh, Dex. Um, I think I think that's what we got. Or I think I added one too many. But yeah, shout out, to, right. shout out to the patrons. All right, let's get to the outro. You're gonna owe me a drink after this. All right, we're gonna say goodbye, listeners. This has been your new addiction. This has been your new favorite podcast series. This has been the flow. Mm, love see you guys, guys later. Bye, oh, guys. Wow. See ya. Peace. <laughs>